So what's the problem that this bill is trying to solve? And the simple answer is there is no problem. Today, there are trans Iowans in schools who are using restrooms aligned with the gender they identify with. It happens every day, and usually your children don't even know it happens. I listened to the mothers in favor of this bill during the subcommittee. And what I found most interesting about their testimony is that they all said, I asked my child what they would think if. Not one of them said, my student had an experience with a trans student in the restroom at their schools, not one. The answers from their students were, hypothetically, because these are all hypothetical cases, nothing that has actually happened. They all said it would make me feel uncomfortable. Uncomfortable. Let's practice compassionate leadership. I believe it is bet better to prioritize the safety of all children over the hypothetical discomfort of a few. I believe most Iowa students would like to welcome their fellow students to live their authentic life. I still believe in Iowa nice. A trans student is not safe in a restroom that doesn't align with their gender. Between comfort and safety, I have to fall on the side of safety. You may not understand why a person is transgender or the science behind it. However, basic human decency tells us that transgender children are going to need to use the bathroom in school and they should go to the bathroom where they are safest, the one that aligns with their gender. And Representative Baith, if they're getting the opportunity to go four times a day, I'm really surprised, but that's probably good because they're well hydrated. I'm, I'm for it. Let's talk about Lily. Lily is a seven-year-old trans girl using a girl's restroom at her school. She identifies as female and feels comfortable living in a, as a girl. If you haven't met Lily, you should. She is adorable and very well-spoken. Lily said... I think you are confused about what happens in the second grade bathrooms. No one is hurting each other there. I am not hurting anyone in there. We just go to the bathroom and wash our hands. That's how easy it is. How can you not practice compassionate leadership when you listen to Lily? Thank you, Lily, for simplifying this for us all. It is clear to Lily and to me that there is no problem to solve. If a second grader can figure that out, then surely a room full of 100 duly elected adults can also. There are other Lilies in Iowa that we are unaware of. I am aware of another seven-year-old trans girl using the girls' restroom at school, and no one in her school is aware. But this bill will force her out. Before she makes the decision to let her friends and neighbors know that is wrong. It is so wrong. 